video, I'm going to show you how I created a uh, GitHub template repo that users can use to get started with Quarto without having to install anything. They're going to be able to create this Quarto website that looks kind of like a book um, just from the browser and be able to edit content and create it, um, have the website created. So a um, a template repository is a little different in that um, when you make a repository a template um, here it's going to be under settings you check that little box there um, that will then add this green button here and when the user clicks that it's going to um, copy you can just cloud show you what happens here. So it's kind of like uh, importing, except it's not going to have all the history and such. So they you know, you know, select who the owner is and give it a repository name. For this particular one, uh, I do have to add to the instructions that the user needs to click public because it's going to be making GitHub pages. And the website is going to be on the GitHub pages or GH pages branch. So I had to include in the instructions that they need to click that box there. All right, let's go back here and kind of show you how this works. So this repository has all the content needed for a really simple Quarto website. You can see what that looks like here. It just looks like this. It's got some pages here. There we go. It's got some basic things, editing the pages. So pretty simple, but also looks really nice. Let's go back. Oops. Okay, let's go back here. There we go. Okay. So this is back of the repository. So that website was just generated from this content. And a um, kind of key thing here for having people be able to use this is that um, without having to like um, in you know clone it to their local computer or install anything, is that it's got a workflow here, a GitHub action right here. And whenever the user pushes to the repo that they create, it's going to rebuild the Quarto page. And you can see, you know, it's uh, whenever there's a push on the main branch, it's going to check out the repo. Um, there is a page here that is R Markdown, and for that they uh, do need to have R installed. So this GitHub action is installing R. There's a few packages that need to be installed to build a an R Markdown page. So here, um, obviously, if the Quarto website did not have an R Markdown, you wouldn't need that. Or if you had um, say if you were say using python then you would um you need to install python not r the next one is uh, this is generic is the um, publish action and basically oh sorry the first one here is to set up quarto i'm not using uh, building to pdf but um you can see here it's also installing tiny text so you could build to PDF. And then the last um, bit of the action is this public to publish to GitHub pages. And what this does is uh, by default, it will re-render the content and then push it to the GH pages branch. All right. So basically the user just, um, like I said, just clicks that button there. And then they want to make sure they click the public, include all branches. And then they're going to need to turn on uh, GitHub pages and set it to build from the GH pages branch and root directory. And then they're going to need to turn on GitHub actions. After they do that, it'll all just run. They can go ahead here, go into content, start editing this content, add some pages. When they add pages, they're going to need to go and also edit here, add these pages here, 
push that here from the browser and it will rebuild for them.